Hey, it's Mike back here at uh, in Manchester, UK, and I've just been watching the Brian Grasso um, short documentary, Life by Numbers. Um, thanks very much, Brian, for a really, really um, great movie there. Um, it's actually, it's took me about 10 minutes uh, after I've watched it to uh, have a real think about what I wanted to put in this video because um, it actually does, it does take your breath away a little bit. And um, I think, oh, you know, there was, there was lots of emotions coming out. Um, the, the first one was actually a feeling of relief and that's because um, essentially if I watched that video about four or five years ago, something like that, some, something virgin on five years ago, I think I would have been on the floor in tears um, thinking about what think about what I was doing and that I was pretty much going about my way of life um, like a lot of people that were in that movie that you you know that you're talking about and, and all, all the problems um, that the people can have and that they're just not realizing the potential um, that you know day by day goes by and that there's just there's just nothing of value there um, whatsoever uh, fast forward to now and as I say I feel very very lucky um, I feel like there's a bit of relief there um, in the way that I'm actually doing a lot of these things now um, and it's um, you know I'm actually I'm gonna give a couple couple of thanks for that because it was about five years ago when I came into the fitness industry um, and really wanted to make a big shot of it. It was absolutely my passion and what I wanted to do. And it worked very, very hard to, to get where I am now. And a lot of that goes down to the likes of um, probably of Dax Moy, um, who actually showed me um, a lot of this um sort of attitudes if you like um in some of the coaching that i've done with him and how you know just trying to be successful and making money wasn't the, the be all and end all it's it's not it's not um it's not something that should be avoided but it was all to do with realizing my potential um and what my actual purpose was and it was probably even about two two to three years that i discovered that um, I, th I think um, along the way I've met met a lot of great people, and there's probably too many to mention um, in the in the fitness industry. Uh, but I'm going to fast forward to how I've got a lot of thanks for all the people that I've actually worked with, um, and you know, by making a difference in their lives. Um, you know, that sounds quite crap actually, but how how I've been, they've given me the opportunity to work with them and make a difference with them, that I'm actually am fulfilling my purpose. Um, and just getting to see more people like that has been, has been really, really fantastic. Um, but I, I suppose the last feelings are that while I'm on the road to where, to where I am and to where I want to be, sorry, and, you know, I think I'm on the right route, definitely, is that um, there's still a long way to go. And I think, if anything, this video has sort of given me a little bit of an idea that I have to try even more, to try even harder to make the impact that I want to. So, uh, you know, it, it has been very welcome on that respect of right now in, you know, we're coming to the end of 2011, um, I have kind of like been given a second chance, if you like, in what I've been doing over the last the last four years. That there's still so much more potential that I can give, um, in in all sorts of areas, so that I actually really fulfil everything that I want to do uh, with my with my life. And a lot of that has focused on the professional side of it, but there is there is absolutely some things that I've definitely continue to do and get better at in my personal life as well. So it's not it's not just all about it's not all about my um, my professional life. So um, again, 
sort of just trying to be think trying to think of things um, as I've been talking there. It's it's probably going to sound rubbish when when it gets watched back because it is actually I found it very difficult to to basically get everything down on paper or in or into my head as to how I feel. But uh, thanks very much, Brian. Um, great, great stuff. Um, I think that the last thing to say is that I've just got to really spread this message a bit more. It is the, it is the message that I am trying to spread in people, uh, people that were like me four or five years ago, um, or certainly to some degree, something like that. And, you know, I'm going to get my purpose and message out there by getting more people to to definitely watch this for starters. Okay, um, that's it. I can put the lights back on. Thanks very much, Brian, and can't wait to see you more soon.